Mr. Street Are you serious? Fighter this is a match coming up? Oh, I'm so happy. I am so you happy see, to I be mean, here with you right now commentating this match, this has been This has been a fast start. It feels like everything's happening at once. And you can hear in the crowd alternating chants of Daigo Daigo or USA USA. This rivalry has been going on for over a decade and a half. They first played back in the Alpha days when Daigo came over to the US, played against Alex Valle, very, very close match. Daigo ended up taking it. That was Sit. the beginning of the Japanese players coming to America and taking our buckets. But it hasn't always been like that. Alex has beaten Daigo in the past. That's right. In third strike and in ST and in SF4, it's happened. That's right. You know, uh, another storied rivalry that we've had is Valle versus Choi. And because of Valle's uh, history with Choi, I feel that he is incredibly prepared for Daigo. To me, Daigo and Choi are Shoto's cut from the same cloth. I can see that. They're very uh, technical, they're very precise, and they don't like to take a lot of crazy risks. Valle is basically the contrapositive of this. He will literally take the risk of walking into you and taking the hit, and he'll foul that one away into his Rolodex to come back and use the same setup against you three rounds later and then throw in a Dragon Punch three frames earlier to kill you on it, and you're left there thinking, what am I playing? Is this guy human? So you, up you, against Daigo, he's got a bag of tricks. You can really hear the crowd get into this one. One of my all-time favorite Street Fighter Four matches is Daigo against Alex Valle from SoCal Regionals a few years back. They played just mm. the hashtag finger <laughs> it was, kisses fingertips it was, it was of all footsie matches. Two. It was amazing, SF2. and I'm, I'm so excited to see this. You're going to see some of the greatest footsies that you'll ever see in this match coming up. How many guys? These, how many games have these guys battled it out in, man? Alpha Three, Super Turbo. Uh, Hyper Street Fighter, third, third strike. Third strike, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's gone back, like I said, over 15 years. It's going to be a very interesting match. Fireball is trying to take control of the screen. Got Crouching Medium Kick trying to take control of the screen. They're of feeling course, each other out. When, when Daigo hits Alex with Crouching Medium Kick Fireball, that's going to hurt, not so much for Alex. So that's, that's the advantage of playing Evil Ryu in this matchup. And you can see Alex has gotten pushed back into the corner. He does not want to get touched by any crouching medium kicks. That's what I'm talking about. Into the corner now. Evil is certainly the offensive powerhouse, David. You sell your soul and you get power in return for it. Valle, he's got a character that's going to have more vitality. He's going to be able to take a hit. He's a little bit just more solid, if you will. Dago's playing a little bit more of a glass cannon, but he's going to make these hits count. Oh, he went for the DP, but nice on Alex Valle. He baited that one out and went over it with the Tatsu. It feels like the neutral game is pretty even, but the damage differential is, is apparent. Yeah, and at any time, Daigo will explode. Ryu just doesn't have the explosive power as his evil counterpart. And so even the meter game, it's close, but that meter means so much more to evil Ryu. It's all about trying to walk into the other player's range and walk back right outside of it and punish when they try to press a button. That is what is happening right Man. now. Right into the EX. How, how many low forwards have we seen in this round, in this game one? That's the match. Is that it? No. I'll do it. The last time these two played, back in March of 2013, they had an exhibition, if you recall. Mm -hmm. Daigo won at five to three. Daigo, man, one of the best, absolute, pure, the best Street Fighter players we have with an, an 80% win percentage across major tournaments in top eights. Oh, a little bit of a risk by Alex. Didn't pay off. Not too much of a punish, though. And at this point, he's been getting chased a lot. He's been getting moved back into the corner. And you can see he's, he's worried about playing as offensively as he might want to, because he knows what the damage output of Evil is. Here comes Alex, though. You see that stand medium kick? It has a good hitbox on it. It moves Evil Ryu forward into the opponent's range. From the front, oh, but nothing out of the combo. Dago still in control, though. And this is, this is Evil Ryu, man, the, the Vortex character. But we're not seeing that. Daigo has finally been able to bring his style over to Evil Ryu and playing a much more controlled game, and at any moment, he might bounce. You know, I have to say, I really like Daigo playing Evil Ryu. It feels like he can play the footsie game, the ground game he wants to play, but it counts. 
two versions ago. a lot ago, of damage. Two versions ago, if I'm not mistaken, maybe three, Daigo flirted with switching to Akuma. And I thought that would have been great for him. He would have buffed his inherent Shoto power. I think we're seeing that here with his evil Ryu as he takes it to Alex Valle, juggling the corner. Dangerous times for our American Shoto, Mr. Street Fighter himself. Can you see what Ryu gets? Just not quite the same. This is why a lot of Ryu mains have switched to evil Ryu. Oh, it's not just Ryu mains, baby. It's no, a you're lot right. of just players. You are right about that. And that is that Daigo Umehara in evil Ryu versus regular Ryu. 2-0 over Alex Valle. That was four straight rounds. That was four straight rounds, and that was loser's bracket, folks. So, Mr. Street Fighter, level up Alex Valle. He's going to be going home early this year. Quarterfinals, nothing to be uh, ashamed of, nothing to sneeze at, but a guy like Alex Valle, he's definitely trying to make it out to that.